Today's battle is between the Triceratops and the African Bush Elephant. Let's get into this. So, the African Bush Elephant can be up to around 7, 7 to 11 feet tall at the shoulders. Meanwhile, and it can weigh up to around, oh yeah. They can also be up to 9 to 10 feet long. But when it comes to weight, they can be up to around... Three to six, they can weigh up to three to six tons. Okay, okay, so now let's get into the Triceratops. The Triceratops um, was weighed up to around 10 to 12 tons, was 12 feet tall, 10 to 12 feet tall, and it was up to 29 to 32 feet long, and lived in North America. Okay, so, okay, what else? What else? Anything else to say about, oh yeah, weapons. Horns versus tusks. The horns get the advantage here. They're a lot bigger and have longer range. Um, yeah, the elephant's tusks can spear through stuff as well, and, they have an, and they're sharp enough to break to spear through a freaking car. Well, this is a triceratops. Three, three to four foot long horns can spear through a T-Rex with ease, and T-Rexes have tough ass skin, but so does the elephant. So but yeah. Okay, let's compare the next weapons. The next weapons are their trample attack, basically. <laughs> the, the elephant gets the advantage here. That's because. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Because it doesn't have this huge freaking frill that's blocking, blocking away, so yeah. And it, and it just makes it harder for the Triceratops to trample something. So, yeah, the Elf gets the advantage here. <laughs> X-Factors. Elephants are social creatures and they're really smart. Triceratops has been found to not have been a social creature. But it's mostly a solitary creature, you know. It's not like the... It's not like... It's not a herd, a herd animal. But there's still some theory saying it was. So, yeah. X factors go. Oh yeah, elephant also has a trunk so that I can use. Yeah, elephant gets the X factor here. Okay. Um. Let's, let's go through the main stats. When it comes to speed, the Triceratops grow up to speeds up to around 15 miles per hour. Oh, African bush elephants, on the other hand, can grow up to speeds up to around. Right. Grow to speed up to around 25 miles per hour. So yeah, elephant gets a speed advantage. Strength. This this they're both really strong animals since the Triceratops can take on a freaking T Rex, which and you know the T Rex has the power to take down a freaking bush elephant, but the bush, the African bush elephant has enough power to take down acacia trees, which are freaking huge compared to elephants. So who gets the advantage here? Slight av This goes to the slight advantage of the Triceratops. Yeah, brains. No intelligence goes to the the elephant attack. They're both tied. Defense goes to the um the the, um, the Triceratops. Okay. Okay. So now let's get into the fight. 
So these two these two animals are males, okay? So a male African bush elephant is just walking along, you know. And this is ancient Rome, by the way, because they, because El the Romans, they didn't know what elephants look like. So they brought in an actual elephant, okay, for a cage fight. They mentally broke its will, and now it's just ready to fight anything, basically. Break its spirit. Now the Triceratops comes along, because they bring this MF in, and people are like, what the hell is that thing? The crowd goes wild, because they're about to see two freaking giants smack in you know, a smackdown. The Triceratops is just like, where am I? Where am I? And the, the African bull, the African bush elephant is like, oh my god, moose in the Triceratops is like, no that was a stupid joke, Jesus Christ. That, that meme is so old now. So the, the elephant charges and knocks over the Triceratops. The Triceratops is like, is like, man, what the hell, man? So they both get into a freaking fencing fight with their Tuscan horns. But the Triceratops easily overpowers the elephant and stabs it in the legs. The elephant bellows in pain, but then since his spirit is broken, he's still not freaking, he doesn't give a f yet. So, the elephant spears the Triceratops' body with its toss and it flips it, flips it over onto the side, you know. Triceratops quickly gets up and tries to shield itself by pointing its horns at the elephant, but the elephant just swats his horns away with its trunk. Like it's nothing. And then the Triceratops charges full speeds and spears the elephant in the body. The elephant bellows in pain. And blood is spilling everywhere. Onto the arena floor and everything. The, tr the Triceratops backs away. And just waits for the elephant to like bleed, bleed out. But the elephant doesn't give a sh And he's still going towards the Triceratops. Triceratops... Then Tracy goes on to fence, the offensive now. The, now it's Tusk versus Horns as they both freaking ting 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 ting. Yeah. It's basically just a sword fight until the Triceratops just spears through the elephant's skull with its three, with his four foot horns. The elephant just drops down dead. He's instantly killed in his tracks. The Triceratops unspears the trice the elephant and roars in victory. Before charging through the crowd, charging through the arena walls and breaking them, before bulldozing his way out of the arena, the crowd goes freaking wild as the freaking elephant, the reigning champion, just die. But the crowd goes wild anyway. But it's a, but it has mixed reviews. Mix every everyone in the crowd has mixed feelings. Yeah. Anyway, the winner is Triceratops. So I say Triceratops when fighting an African bush elephant will win around eighty three percent of the time. It's just a lot more bigger, stronger, longer weapons and range. Well, I'm sure if the elephant was lucky; it would kill the Triceratops. Triceratops. So yeah, but who do you think would win a fight between a Triceratops and an African bush elephant? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.